Hi everyone, this is a quick walkthrough on how to use the New Order Removal 4.0 app. This is a new app and you can find it on the App Store by searching New Order 4.0. Um, the app icon will be different than it was previously. Instead of white, it will be black. So make sure you download the most recent app. If you look on the bottom left of the screen, um, you can see that the version number is 4.0.5 and you are on build 140. As of January 8th, 2018, that is the most current build. We always encourage you to make sure that you are on the most current build. So to log in, this is the login screen. You enter your email and your password and you can enable remember me so you never have to sign in again. And if you log in, we always encourage you to use this app online. So this app is very different from the old app because everything you'll do will constantly be sent to the server and you will always be pulling and receiving information from the server. This means that it's always up to date. There's no offline or syncing if you can help it. Um, we would recommend you always working online and with strong Wi-Fi information. So what you'll see here is the brand picker. And let's just pick a quick brand. We can do one product QA. Great. Now the app will load. So a very quick introduction. On the left side here, you'll see the menu, okay? And then you'll see your name, your email, current brand one product QA. If you tap on that, this is where you can go and change to search for different brands. You can also, if you go on the menu here, you can go to the sync center as well. And that is something that I will go over in detail later. There's also products, line sheets, custom lists, orders, companies, buyers, and campaigns. We have offline setup and logout. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you will also be able to see the version number and the bill number here as well. Um, so new order 4.0 is built so that it mirrors almost exactly what you see on the web. So most of the things you can do on the web, you will be able to do on New Order Mobile 4.0. And again, I can't encourage this enough, work online whenever possible. So let's start with going to the product screen. If you land on the product gallery here, you'll see the green bar and it's loading. That means your products are loading. And if any time during the app you feel like, oh, uh, there's something that I don't see that's loading. All you have to do is put your finger here and pull down hard like this until you see the spinning wheel. Pull down and release, and you'll get the most updated information, information from the server again. So on any product, if you tap on the page, it takes you to the product detail page, and you can scroll down. It's very much like the web. If you tap on an image, it becomes full screen like this. And you can scroll and see the different images that you have. You can also zoom in, see the details of the specific products. So that is the product page. And you can also, on the top right here, tap to change the different gallery views as well. You can filter and sort here. You can also search for specific products by tapping on the magnifying glass. Okay, And then just like the web, um, you can add products to cart by tapping the little cart icon here, or you can add to products to cart using the add to cart button. And the same thing with adding to the custom list. You can tap the star here, or you can tap the star here that says add to. If you tap here, you can choose a list. You can choose a custom list, or you can choose a line sheet. Or you can tap the plus button on the top right corner to create a new line sheet or create a new list. So let's go back here. One thing that um, people will be looking for is the view as button on the old app. And now that has been changed to streamline the flow, what you do is you see this green teal bar that says, who are you shopping for? If you select that, a shop for screen pops up. And we encourage you to fill this out before you start adding products to the cart because sometimes who the company that you're shopping for may change the um, availability of specific products in your product gallery. So you have the option to select a company here and say we want to shop for one cool company. You can choose the different buyers and sales reps and hit shop now, or you can skip for now too if you want, but we encourage you to fill this out. Once you hit shop now, it essentially, you see that teal chip right there, it essentially functions as a view as screen. So everything you see in the product gallery and the line sheet and the custom list will be filtered for this company only. 
Okay, so now once you've selected a company, you can add the cart button and you can start adding products to your cart. Or you can add the star button and now we can select a list or let's create a new list. The list created here, we can change the title to Julia's list. Save. And now, if you see the teal button on the top right corner next to the cart, that means this list is currently active. So you can scroll down and you can hit star to add specific products to your list. So let's go take a look at the list. If I tap on that list here, you can see all my items on this list. Let's go back to the product gallery. Okay, great. So let's go to the cart. And these are the items that you've added to the cart. So in the cart, there are a couple of things you can do. You can tap on a card and the detail comes out like this. You can use these buttons to increase your quantities or decrease your quantities. Or if you tap on the box, your keyboard will pop up. And you can use these buttons, next product or next size, to easily and quickly size your products. Then you can also set your delivery date. So if you tap on the delivery date here, you can set custom delivery dates and say I want this in February. So I hit done and then I can have the option to apply to entire order. Oops, let's go back there. Or I can just change delivery for this one specific product. If I hit the kebabs on the right top right of this card, I can edit item details or set delivery by inventory. I can also apply to similar sizes or duplicate this item or remove it from the cart. Okay. So let's uh, apply to similar sizes and I can apply to all. And now you can see that if I open this, I can see that I have the similar quantities for these different sizes. And on the bottom here, there the blue bar all is a group by. So this group by functionality is really helpful when you have different delivery dates within one order. So now, I can see that I have products being delivered from Jan to February and then from February 8th to February 13th. So if I only want to see products in the January 8th to February 7th window, I tap on that. The gallery redraws and I can see that I have four products being delivered from January 8th to February 7th and the subtotal is $4,970. And then I want to go back and see everything so I tap all in delivery and you can see that my total is $7,230. Now here, if I tap edit order info, I can see everything that I need to know about this order. There's company, buyer, sales rep, enter a customer PO, there's the billing addresses, discounts if you have the ability to enter discounts or surcharges as well as anything else that you may need. Um, so let's see, oh yes, one more thing. Everything in blue is required for this order to go through. You also have the ability to save an order. If you tap on the save icon here, you can save this as a draft. So we can say save draft. Um, I'm going to cancel out because I want to show you how to check out. Uh, if you tap on the more options kebab here on the top right, you can see that you here are the options. You can save order as draft. You can expand all line items. You can enter barcode scan mode. You can edit group by and you can delete this part. So let's enter barcode scan mode really quickly. You enter barcode scan mode and you can choose two different um, modes of scanning. You can use the, your device's camera or you can use the actual um, external barcode scanner. But first you'll need to be able to hook that up using Bluetooth. So let's use the device's camera here and it will ask you to access the camera. And now you can see that using the iPad's camera, you'll be able to scan barcodes. I don't have any example barcodes right now, but if you scan it here, it will populate and it will add the product automatically to the cart. Great, so then let's check out. This is your checkout screen. You have a summary of everything that's happening here. You tap on the signature icon and you can add, ask for a buyer signature and then you can submit an order. So this is the majority of the cart. And then let's go back. So now let's go to line sheets. When you go into line sheets, it will load all of your inactive and active line sheets here. Um, same thing, you can filter your line sheets and sort. You can search for line sheets. Oops. You can also create a line sheet and organize line sheets here as well. And you can enter into multi-select mode. Oh, that's something 
Let's select a line sheet. So let's say 8L winter. Okay, and remember, I'm seeing 8L winter as if I'm one cool company. Okay, so I can only see specific products that one cool company can see and buy. And with this line sheet, if any time during the app again, you think that it's not loading fast enough or it's too slow, just pull down hard until you see the spinning wheel and then you can refresh. And oh, this line sheet only has one product. So let's go to a different line sheet. Let's go to 4L Spring. Okay, so if you pull down hard and you refresh, you should see more items that pop up. But I think that one cool company has limited visibility. So let's say we're here and I want to organize these, I want to reorganize these products. So I can tap on the more options kebab and I can hit organize items. Now I have the ability to multi-select and I can multi-select and add it to the list or add it to a cart. Or if I put my finger on these three gray bars next to the checkbox and I just drag and drop, I can rearrange these products as I see fit within a custom list or within a line sheet. So let's cancel out of here. And then if I select the more options go out here, I can add all items to cart. I can make this my active list so I can be adding products to it as well. Uh, I can send this as a line sheet or send this line sheet. I can send it as an easy order or a PDF, include a PDF or the Excel. I can select the recipients, enter the subject. And I would always in encourage you to uh, give your campaign a title so that when you are using our campaign feature, it becomes valuable to you. You can say, oh, this is the campaign blast that I sent out to all of my companies um, on this day for Christmas. And I'd like to see how many of them actually opened it, how many of them have placed sales. So this is uh, line sheets. And you can also delete line sheet in, uh, and edit line sheet info as well. Again, you can also change the view. And that is generally it for line sheets. Custom list function very much the same way. You can create a custom list for yourself. You can create it for an account, for a buyer. So this is my list and the little star means that it's currently active, which means any product that I add to my list will go to this list right now. And then you can see that everything is here. I can also change my active list, unset it, or I can send this custom list to myself or to other people as well. Next, if I go to orders, so this is very exciting because this is different from the old iPad app. Um, any orders that you see here, you can take order actions just as you can on the web app. So let's see, this is a draft and I can see that in this draft there is $150 worth of these shorts and then if I want to, I can edit this order or I can create a copy of it or I can delete it. I can also process payments on it. Let's go to an existing order. So this one is a pending order. And if I tap on the more options go up, here you can see I have the order actions I can take. I can reorder it, I can cancel it, I can move it to approved or move it to review. So anything you can do with orders online, you can do it as well on the mobile app. Currently, one limitation is that you cannot edit orders that are existing. Um, that's due to technical limitations on our end, but we hope to change that soon. So next we can go to companies. And this is where you can see a list of all of your companies. You can again filter and search. And if you tap into a company, uh, you can see all of their details here. You can see all of the buyers associated with this company. If there are orders, you'll see the orders listed here as well. You can also create a new order directly from a company. And then if you tap here, you can add a buyer to this company. You can also create an order or edit this company. Same thing with buyers. If you go to your buyers list, you can see, let's see, if we, Christina, we can see that this buyer, all of their information, all the orders that they placed, um, you can edit the buyer, you can also create an order here, or you can view the orders that they've processed. Next, we go to campaigns. So in the campaigns, anytime you send a line sheet or you send a custom list, it automatically creates a campaign for you. So this is why I recommend you titling your campaign. If you tap on here, you can see that this campaign was 
uh, sent to one recipient and they opened it, but they didn't take any actions, but they did click on something. So you're able to view campaign activity and you can see that Jennifer Haney Byer has clicked on this campaign and they've actually opened the um, email, whether, whether it's a custom list or a line sheet or an easy order, which is really great. So the next thing is offline setup. An offline setup is a great tool if you are working and you know that there's no Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi is weak and it's not reliable, what you can do is you load all of your brand data um, onto your actual device. So a couple of things that you should keep in mind. One, it can take a while depending on how large your brand is. So if you have a lot of data on your brand portal, this will obviously take a longer time to download. We recommend doing it over a strong Wi-Fi. And while you're on this screen, we have built it so that your iPad does not go to sleep and it does not lock. So it will just keep, it will stay on and, and then that way you can download data uninterrupted and you don't have to babysit it, okay? You have the ability to download brand data, just toggle it on. You can download product images and high resolution images as well. Um, and keep in mind that if your brand has a lot of data, it will take up memory space and storage on your device. So just make sure that you double check everything before you uh, move forward with this. And also to come back online periodically after every show, if you know you're gonna be working offline using um, offline setup with existing brand data, make sure you come back online at the end of every day, which brings me to the sync center. So if you're working offline, Everything that you do, whether you create a new order, you send a custom list, you create a new buyer, it gets stored in the sync center under pending, okay? One thing that's different, unlike the old iPad, when you go online using the new app, everything will update automatically. So everything will sync automatically and you won't have to go and manually say, sync this order, sync this order. It will just go and sync automatically. One exception of the rule is if you have placed an online offline order and there are errors in the order that we found, it will show here as a sync error with a red icon next to it. And you will be able to tap on that card and we'll tell you how to fix it. Likely you just have to put it into the car and try to fix the quantities or if there's inventory issues. Um, those are the big things. Let's see, is there anything else? So this is a very quick overview of the new app. We hope you like it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us mobile at neworder.com or you can always reach out to heroes at neworder.com if you have any questions.